readers. Thanks for joining me again today. I wanted to talk with you about some work that I think you're already doing. I know that you've done it a lot in your classrooms and I wanted to add on to it a little bit. So one of the things that I know you're really good at is jotting on sticky notes and putting those in your book. So I've been reading Marcus Vega Doesn't Speak Spanish. This is by Pablo Cartaya. And as you can see, I have been sticky noting my book as well with some of my thoughts. And so what I wanted to teach you today is that we can use these sticky notes to develop our ideas even further, to go like deeper in our understanding and our thinking. So let me show you or let me tell you how um, I did it and then we'll see if you can do it as well. So one of the things that I did was I stopped at one point and went through my sticky notes. I reread them. And so some of my sticky notes, the thoughts weren't so great. Um, you know, things like he was sad. There's not much else I can do with that sticky note. So I didn't pick those. But then I found a sticky note that I was really interested in and I thought, hmm, I could probably go further with this and really explain my thinking in my reader's notebook to my teacher. So let me show you how I did it. So I went through and I picked a sticky note. And because it's little, I'm gonna show you, I redid it on a bigger piece of paper. Usually everything I do is in my reader's notebook, but for this purpose, I'm gonna show you on this big sheet of paper. So here is my sticky note that I found. And it said, people perceive Marcus to be different than who he really is. You see that? So that was my sticky note. And so I was thinking, gosh, this is something that I could really explore and really show a deeper thinking behind that. So I had to ask myself, do you see this? I have to ask myself, what does my jot really mean? So I stopped, I thought for a bit and I was like, oh, okay. It really means that he has all these external, like things on the outside happening and that's how people perceive him. That's how they see him. But he's also got all this stuff on the inside happening. So I wanted to represent that in some way. And this is what I would put. I could put the sticky note in my reader's notebook and then my developed thinking. Because your teachers can't get in your head, they need to see your thinking. So let me show you what I was thinking. So from my sticky note, then I drew a little picture of him from behind. I got it off the book. Um, and then I thought, who is he on the outside? What do people think about him on the outside? Well, on the outside, they think he's threatening because he's big. They think he's mean, imposing. They think he's distant. He doesn't have a lot of friends. And they also think that he takes advantage of other kids and, like, and bullies them. But on the inside, he's caring. He's responsible, protective. He's even insecure, but he's very helpful and loyal. So I started with the sticky note, but I developed my thinking even more here. So as you're reading and getting ideas in your reader's notebook, this might be something that you try. Pick a sticky note and ask yourself, what do I really think about this? And then try and develop in some creative way in your reader's notebook. Okay, good luck readers, and I'll see you back here soon.